from major to minor smash and grab. And it's a real dust-up for Teddy. But Teddy's not the only one getting pushed around. Just take a look at father. No, they're not sitters out of seesaws, but testers out of toys. Every year from this British factory, a million and a half pounds worth of toys go for export. And they're expected to stand up to, well, even to 30 pound pulls from overseas kiddies weaned on oversized steaks. Charlie calls it a compressive stress test, or something or other. It's a real test for suspension, king pins, swivel pins, nine pins, and the pins you can always hear drop after an explosion by pop. But you don't get a rattle on this model. The car under test is one of 20 types, all made from 20 gauge sheet steel and guaranteed to stand up to father's weight whenever Junior is not looking. You don't believe it? Well, take a look at this. A short step from a flashy car to the dogs. But it's the old, old story. In this case, though, it's a dog that won't let him down. And even if Fido were a camel, father would still not be the last straw. With a man or beast or stuffed toy dog, you're expected to stand up to a load on your back when the tag says, Made in Britain. 13 stone on a tricycle that weighs only six pounds. Well, there's a good margin of safety here. If only these toy manufacturers would turn their hands to furniture, we'd be on a good thing. <laughs>